Hi, it's Mark Strahl, your Member of Parliament for Chilliwack Hope. One of my favourite Christmas traditions is uh, my dad, every Christmas gathering that we have, he rewrites the words to Twas the Night Before Christmas and includes a stanza for each member of our extended family, especially his grandchildren. He gathers up stories throughout the year and tells a little bit of their story. And this year is going to be quite a story to tell, even though we won't be able to gather in our usual way. But I want to wish each and every one of you and all of your families and loved ones a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, and hopes for a better 2021. Scrooge took his melancholy dinner in his usual melancholy tavern, then went home to bed. He lived in chambers which had once belonged to his deceased partner, Marley. Now it is a fact that there was nothing at all particular about the knocker on the door, except that it was very large. Yet as Scrooge had his key in the lock of the door, he saw in the knocker, without its undergoing any change, not a knocker, but Marley's face. I'm back. As he sat back in his chair, Scrooge heard a clanking noise deep down below as if some person were dragging a heavy chain. Then he heard the noise much louder on the floors below, then coming up the stairs, then coming straight towards his door. Yes, I'm back still. <laughs> I won't believe it. It came on through the heavy door. It was Marley. The chain he drew was clasped about his middle. It was long and wound about him like a tail. What do you want with me? Much. Who are you? Ask me who I was. Uh, who were you then? In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You don't believe in me? I don't. Why do you doubt your senses? Because a slight disorder of the stomach makes them cheats. You may be an undigested bit of beef, maybe a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese, a fragment of underdone potato. Uh, there's more of gravy than of gravy about you, whatever you are. You're afraid to believe in me. Oh, this is humbug, I tell you, humbug. I'm here tonight to warn you that you have yet a chance and hope of escaping my fate. Oh, tell me. You will be visited by three spirits. Is that the chance and, and hope you mentioned? It is. I, 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 I think I'd rather not. <laughs> Without their visits, you can't hope to shun the path I tread. Expect the first spirit when the clock on the church tower tolls one. Well, could I take them all at once and, and have it over with? Expect the second when the clock tolls two. Must it be so? The third will come when the stroke of three has ceased to vibrate. How will I know them? You'll know. For your own sake, remember what has passed between us. Look to see me no more. And remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me.